Dr. Mershishan here to talk about magnesium, what it's useful for and how do you decide which magnesium to take. Magnesium is a really important mineral that we get from our diet, but unfortunately due to depleted topsoils and agriculture, it's becoming more and more common to be deficient in magnesium. So many people supplement and it's beneficial for many reasons. Um, one of the reasons is it helps our body make ATP. And ATP is the energy currency that our body uses. Magnesium is also important for nerve conduction, for muscle conduction, for athletes. When you're working out, you're burning more magnesium. It's also great for proper brain function and being able to cope with stress and staying calm. Um, there's many, many other benefits, such as blood pressure reduction, important for bone health, reduction of migraines, important for diabetes, asthma, insomnia, and mood. So how do you choose which magnesium form to take? There's many out there and it's, it could be confusing. Typically I see patients coming in with a previous supplement they're taking and it's usually magnesium citrate. This is the most inexpensive form. So most multivitamins, most you know, multi uh, nutritional protein powders will use magnesium citrate because it is inexpensive um, to add to their product. But typically magnesium citrate um, is is best used for constipation. So magnesium citrate is a really big molecule and it won't be absorbed into the gut lining. So if you take this, it'll actually stay in the gut lining. Your body will sense that there's more salts and more solutes in your gut. It'll send water into the gut, which will help flush out your bowels. So this is actually really great if you have constipation, but if you're using it for cramps and uh, the relaxing calming effect of magnesium, it's better to use a different form. Magnesium glycinate is a great form for calming and sleep um, support. Um, it acts more on the brain and it really helps with relaxation and getting your brain calmed down for a sleep cycle. A form of magnesium that's really great for your brain is magnesium 3 and 8, uh, typically L3 and 8. So this one actually crosses into the brain to really have a good effect on your neurons in your brain. And the journal Neuron actually um, published a research article showing um, enhancement in learning abilities, working memory, short and long-term memory, and even quality of sleep with using magnesium 3 and 8. This is also a great magnesium to use for neurological damage such as concussion or motor vehicle accident, whiplash, um, an injury to the head, um, and to support memory and learning as well. So the last magnesium I'll talk about today is magnesium malate. It's the best magnesium that's most bang for your buck, meaning it's not as expensive, but it is absorbed really well. So it's the highest bioavailable. Um, this is a great one for just overall magnesium support and energy production, as well as joint and muscle support. So if you're an athlete, very active, brain through magnesium, this is a good one for you. Um, it's also good for people suffering with cramps and spasms and stiff, stiff muscles in general. So there, those are the various forms of magnesium. Uh, feel free to ask your doctor about which form you're taking, bring in your supplement to really assess, is this the right one for me? Maybe it's meant for something else, but you want a different action.